send it home. Say goodbye. I know that I'll leave something good behind. Mother. No one is more important than anyone else. Some people, you know, maybe they can be more fun, maybe they can be uh, more beautiful, more handsome, or more talented and certain, but no one is more important. Right. Good advice from Barbara Mandrell. Now, as you can imagine, it's a pretty important lesson for her children to learn since they have grown up surrounded by all the trappings of show business. But you know, Barbara has worked very hard, just like other moms, to find the proper balance between her family and mm -hmm. her career. And as every working mom knows, it's a never-ending struggle. Sing it over! For over 30 years, Barbara Mandrell has been one of the hardest working women in show business. Oh, oh, she did the jump. I'm very impressed. Oh, it impressed him. But Barbara works just as hard at her other job. <laughs> She's Mrs. Ken Dudney and mother to 7-year-old Nathan, 17-year-old Jamie, and 23-year-old Matt. For Barbara, the career track and the mommy track are intertwined. Over the years, she's taken her children on the road with her, and in 1983, the National Mother's Day Committee in New York recognized her with the Outstanding Mother Award, an honor that comes in handy from time to time. You have accomplished so much as an entertainer. Have you accomplished equally as a mother? Well, I won an award. <laughs> <laughs> I won this, and I refer to it a lot. You know, when I forget, like, to pick up my son at school or to do, you know, I forgot to make his lunch yeah. for school, I was like, well, you know, you know I'll do it. I'm, I was the mother of the year. <laughs> In New York, they do a lovely, and this is for women that are working career people and that are mothers. I, I don't know. I don't think any of us that are mothers know if we're a good mother. I know... Um, I try my very best. I have my moments when I'm ashamed. And I have to say to my child, I'm sorry. And then, of course, you know, God, please forgive me and help me. You know, <clears throat> don't you ever get tense and pressured and you'll yell and scream when you should never, you know. Um, and then I also apologize if I'm wrong. And they're right on a subject matter, you know, too. I'll always, you know, I say, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I was wrong. You, but, um, but I am, I am their mother. And it goes so fast. I don't want to miss, you know, I've had to miss a few things and they hurt. <laughs> yeah! Barbara goes out of her way to make sure she doesn't miss much with her family. Last spring, she rushed home on a red-eye flight to see Nathan graduate from kindergarten. I'm graduate? Where's my hugging sister? I am It seems, though, that you have really been there to really raise them, to work on attitudes, values, morals. Yes, no, I, yes, I do that. Ken and I both are very strict parents and very loving parents and very demonstrative. And then he walks slowly through their midst and straight... Time spent with her children is precious to Barbara. One of her favorite memories is when she and Ken went on a double date with young Nathan and his girlfriend. We went out to eat and had some uh, great barbecued ribs and stuff and then we went to the movies and we saw um, Beauty and the Beast. And he took five dollars from his bank. And so when we went to dinner, Ken took the waiter to the side and said, now, you know, when I tell you separate checks, fine, but make sure his check is not for over $5. And so um, here come the checks. And he also took his Ninja Turtle wallet <laughs> with his money in it. And so the check goes down and all, and he's being real cool and he started to get his wallet and all of a sudden he went, oh, <gasps> dad. And, and he said, what, Nathan? He said, he looks at Gail, he doesn't want you know to be in there. He said, it's $500. <laughs> and he can't wait. He said, no, it's five. He said, oh, so he pulls out his $5, and then he got in his pocket, and he pulled 11 cents. And the waiter's standing, taking his, okay, and uh, he left the 11 cents. He says, no, it's for you. It's 
it's a tip. And so when the man walked away about six feet away, he looked at Ken and I, and he says, I never forget the tip. <laughs> Eleven cents. Not bad for a little guy. Not okay. Now, Barbara told me that one thing that has helped her be a full-time mom is the old tour bus. Six weeks after Matthew was born, this was years ago, yep. she packed him up and hit the road, and she has not stopped since. Yeah, well, Matthew's birthday is tomorrow. He'll be 23, and last weekend, daughter Jamie won the Miss Teen Tennessee pageant. Right. So Barbara has a wonderful family, and yeah. uh, happy Mother's Day, Barb, and all you moms out there. More Crook and Chase coming up in just a minute.